I think I want to add glitters on this look. I mean, uh, it's not a good style for this makeup, but I love glitters. It reflects the night, even if it's not even night. Hi everybody, so uh, this is a look that I wanted to show you about Victoria Frances because I love her and her paints but uh, first thing I wanted to tell you that I have a burn on my shoulder if you see me do weird faces like this one it just means that I'm in pain so don't be scared and we're going to start by putting my hair a bit on the back so you can see something I already applied my foundation, my concealer and everything so I'm gonna start right away with the eyes so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to take a red eyeshadow, a dark one and uh, I am going to apply it around my eyes and blend it very well I'm going to start by taking a shimmery grey eyeshadow that I'm going to apply with my finger on my eyelids but you can use a brush if you want uh, Once I've done that, I'm going to take a grey eyeshadow like this one and I'm going to apply it with a brush on top of the shimmery eyeshadow that I applied before Then I'm going to take a black hole and I'm going to put a bit of it on the outside corner of my eyes but also under my eyes, I'm doing like a contour all around my eye. And once I've done all of that, what I'm going to do is to take a brush, a blending brush and I'm going to blend very well on top of my eyelid but especially down I am going to make it move all the way around you know if you saw her paintings you, you know that she all the models have eyeliners that are going very down I suppose it's to make it look more gothic but uh, you have to push it down and blend very well because if you don't blend very well especially because it's black it's gonna look messy so make sure you blend it well with a clean brush uh, once you did that you are going to take black body paint and you are going to apply it on your cheek I mean you're gonna draw a tear like I'm doing right now for this step you can look at her paints and you're gonna see how it, how it is so you can uh, get yourself inspired by that. So you have to draw the chair and then you make like a small circle down and you fill it with black body paint. Then I'm taking a lipstick and I'm going to apply just a bit on my lips because it's very pigmented so if you want to use another color use another one but I think this color is a bit gothic so I really like it. So I am going to draw a necklace for that I am doing to do it with the same black body paint I used to draw the tear on my cheek. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is to draw like small circles, like six small circles and then you're gonna draw like next to it two lines and you're gonna draw another six small circles and you're gonna do it all around your neck once you did that you're going to draw like uh, other small round going down your neck on your chest you draw that everywhere where you draw uh, the six rounds before after that, uh, what I'm doing, I'm drawing like small uh, triangles, but like not triangles, but you know, like you see like this shape 
and you do it uh, everywhere where you put the lines and then I'm just going to complete by doing like uh, folding the necklace I'm not doing it right because I want it to look some kind of messy like like in her paints Yeah, and this is a final look. The only thing that I forgot to say is that I applied a bit of mascara, so don't forget to do it to make you look like you have bigger eyes. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, very good for Halloween, I think. You cannot go outside with this look at any time, but for Halloween or for like a party and you want to dress like that, you can do it.